Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in and uh, today we're going to have a look at the Hawk Optics uh, range of binoculars and this is the ones that are available in 2020 and going into 2021. So starting from the bottom, although these are certainly not bad binoculars, this is the Hawk Vantage range available in 25 and 42mm models in 8x and 10x magnification. They are still BAK4 prisms but uh, fully coated to keep the price down eyepieces and fully coated objective lenses with the 42mm model but what I found with the 25 was they're actually multi coated objective lenses and so daft though it sounds I, I found the 25mm a brighter image than the 42mm model and so you still may find these kicking about in stock from some dealers and as you can see we've still got one or two left Probably not as long enough high relief for spectacle, whereas I would say for the 25mm models, but very nicely put together, double hinge, fold up into your pocket and very solidly put together. So that's the starter set, the Hawk Vantage. Then going on to the Hawk Nature Trex, and these are available in 25, 32. 42 and 50 millimeter models, 50 millimeter models, and these BAK4 four prisms, nitrogen gas filled, and but fully multi coated optics all around. So compared to the Vantage binoculars, you get much much higher contrast and sharpness, and uh, also very good eye relief with uh, these uh, twist eye cups come out quite a long way. Easy to handle, come with a, a soft nylon case as per the Vantage and a uh, lifetime guarantee as with all Hawk binoculars and from £119 or thereabouts upwards for the 32mm models and around about £89, £99 for the 25 and then going up to the 10x50 and 12x50 so these are very good intermediate set and we go on to the Hawk Endurance ED as you can see, I've still got the lens caps on here because these are the only ones out of the Hawk range, the current lineup, where you can't completely remove these lens caps. So, the pretty much as per the Nature Treks and uh, available again from 25 to 32 to 42 to 50 and 56 millimeter models. But be, be aware that the 56 millimeter model is not ED glass. So I've just given away. A bit of a spoiler there, so compared to the Nature Trex, these are ED glass, which stands for extra low dispersion, or the light scatters less, so you get that sharper image with less chromatic aberration or colour fringing. And by colour fringing, for example, if you're looking at a bright swan against a dark background, you might just see a little bit of a purple or red line around the edge of the swan where you're getting a little bit of chromatic aberration. The ED, extra low dispersion, the sc uh, you get a much better sharpness and that false colour is vastly reduced and these are also face, co face coated prisms that will help with the contrast so that's the Endurance ED and moving on you've got the HDX range and this is the 8x32 and it's probably at one of our best selling 32mm binoculars so even though they are higher price than the ED range, the Endurance ED, they don't have ED glass but don't be put off by that because now you're moving on to the world of dielectric coated prisms instead of face corrected prisms and believe me that gives you a lot more brightness and sharpness compared to the Endurance ED and don't think that I'm saying that these are better yes they are better regards the brighter image sharper image and and also a wider field of view compared to the endurance ed but obviously they're not ed glass so you will still get that little bit of chromatic aberration and a little bit more so than the endurance ed and so th there's the choice really between the hdx and the endurance ed would you rather have the brighter image from the hdx or less chromatic aberration from the Endurance ED and that, that, that gives you the choice between those two. Uh, the, and compared to the Endurance ED these are much more tolerant of, of uh, changes in temperature so should you 
either use them going out to the Sahara Desert or you go up to the North Pole if you're lucky enough you know that these should withstand a lot more temperature variations so then we go on from the HDX to the EDX and these have won countless best-in-class awards including this year for best bird in binoculars uh, turn into a bit of a classic these so you get the advantage of the HDX but you now also have the benefits of ED glass or extra low dispersion glass so that chromatic aberration is vastly reduced very good eye relief so same as the HDX it can be used in extreme temperatures very easy to handle and uh, I forgot to mention with the endurance EDs you get uh, a hard case with a zipper and with the EDX and the HDX you get a, a semi soft case with a magnetic magnetic clip and these also have a tremendously wide field of view and uh, a couple of years ago these were the the top model in the Hawk range but no more because now we have this bad boy and this is the Hawk Frontier APO APO standing for apochromatic uh, or in other words a triplet lens assembly at the front and they look completely different to the EDX range so it's not just a case of changing the optics in the same same body it's completely different design slightly heavier um, I find the hour relief on these not quite as good but maybe maybe that's just me ultra smooth focuser the same very wide field of view as the EDX and so what do you get with this APO or apochromatic uh, lens assembly well when you look through the EDX and you then you look through these APOs it's not going to be the difference between night and day it, it's this is not about image brightness but what you will notice is that e even with the EDX's there is just that slight bit of false color or chromatic aberration with these it that virtually goes it's to an e it takes it to a new level and so for example like if you're looking at birds in trees where it's very very heavily backlit that they will stand out amazingly well pin sharp with virtually no chromatic aberration whatsoever and uh, another thing you'll notice there is much much less pin cushion distortion than you, you would do with the EDX y you may not notice it in uh, everyday use but with the EDX and the rest of the range you might just notice slight curvature of straight lines or pin cushion, pin cushion sorry distortion put my teeth back in on the edge but with these nice straight lines and so that's what you're paying for vastly, vastly removed, reduced uh, distortion and chromatic aberration compared to the EDX so that's uh, just a very quick look without going into too much detail of each model currently available in the Hawk Optics range so as always Thank you very much for watching and please check out the links in the description below.